Now, officials with the MBTA are speaking this morning after that late night announcement imposing speed restrictions across all four subway lines following a site visit already causing lots of disruptions for riders today. Let's listen in. Geometry car tests are mechanized pieces of equipment that inspect our track for us for things that wouldn't be visible to the naked eye, things that wouldn't be visible to uh, inspectors inspecting track. After the review of the quality of that documentation, I directed operations to implement a global speed restriction between 10 to 25 miles an hour on the red, blue, orange, and green lines until we can validate that all repairs are in place and to verify that speeds are appropriate for those sections of track. Crews have been dispatched into the field for these inspections. This morning, global speed restrictions were lifted on all lines except the green and Mattapan lines. We now have in place block speed restrictions on red, blue, and orange lines in areas that have not been inspected or where track conditions do not permit normal speeds. Work is continuing on the green and Mattapan lines as well. We now have six teams of consulting engineers to support the inspectors, inspections of our workers in the field. As the MBTA continues to address these issues, I am looking for a full and complete review of the circumstances that brought us here today. We are asking riders to please be patient and allow us until the start of service on Monday to validate repairs and verify speeds. I understand that these actions will add additional travel time for people taking the T, and we apologize for these inconveniences. The MBTA remains committed to operating a transit system in the safest manner possible. The T will provide regular updates of these inspections as the days go forward. We've identified these issues and we've taken action. This is a priority as well for the Governor and the Lieutenant Governor and the Secretary of Transportation. The Secretary of Transportation and I have been in close contact talking through this over the last several hours and also I have briefed both the Lieutenant Governor and the Governor and speaking with them this morning as well on this particular matter. I'll pause there and answer any questions that anyone may have. So the, the inspections themselves, the, the follow-up from that inspection was a request for some geometry data. These were geometry car data was a test that was run in February. And they were asking us for some follow-up information from that. That process of running those geometry tests is usually done and followed by a track crew and an MBTA track engineer. When a defect is identified, they will implement and, and take matters and they'll be again, addressing those issues in the field and then documenting those issues and then providing that information back. What they were looking for was that supporting documentation. In this particular instance and in, this, in these particular cases, not just here but also globally through the system, there is some documentation inconsistencies and some areas where the documentation does not exist. So therefore, we took the action yesterday, becoming aware of that was the case, that we globally across the system slowed all trains down until we can verify and validate that all of the defects that were identified during this inspection have been addressed. Can you express that in every man English, uh, people don't understand documentation, geometry, this kind of thing. What did you find that worried you? So the, the geometry car tests identify areas where the, our tracks are in a standard that is outside of our typical track standard. So essentially, they identify an issue with our track that we, we need or should address. In these particular instances, depending on what the, what the defect is, they will, we will slow trains down in order to mitigate any potential risk. What we have done and that what we went forward with yesterday, again, was slowing all the trains down until we can identify those particular areas and then localize, make decisions on what mitigations were put in place to, to support that. Can you now explain it, what kind of defects we're talking about in the track in a way that people can understand? So these defects could be anything from, from uh, the, the, the spacing between the rails is a little too tight. Uh, they could be that there is a slight twist in the rail itself, um, but uh, other specifics other than that that, that um, are a little more technical, but about the, the rail itself. Jeff, what the DPUC was criticized a lot for not doing actions like this. In the so, so 
we have we work in very close collaborations with the Department of Public Utilities. Uh, the Department of Public Utilities right now has also brought on board several new new employees, and we are continuing to work closely with them. I think the Department of Public Utilities, the MBTA, and the FTA are all fully committed to to evolving the T and the T safety culture. And uh, you know, certainly this is the, we 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 continue to work very collaboratively with both the FTA and the DPU. Again, this is, this is the process that we work through with our state regulatory agency. And as part of their state safety oversight duties, um, you know, we will continue and do continue to work with them. And, and again, frankly, this is all part of ensuring that the T is safe, safe for our customers, safe for our employees. So again, we will continue to collaborate with them and uh, certainly uh, appreciate the, uh, the, the, the continuing working relationship we have. It, it, it is varies, so it varies and it's localized in those, ver in those areas where we have defects or areas that have been identified through those scans that we still need to go back and inspect. There may be some that have been lifted from 25 back up to 40 miles an hour, um, but ag again, it's going to be very localized to very spe specific sections of the track. This decision that we made yesterday to, to slow the trains down globally was done out of an abundance of caution for their safety. And that is something right now that we have to remain completely committed to. I can't answer that question. I, I, don't, I do not know. I, don't, I can't answer that question. There was not a shutdown. It was a, it was a, it was a slowdown. It was beginning to be implemented around 5:30 p.m. last evening. Why was it not till later in the evening when the information went out, letting customers know who might be going home, you know, that they might be facing a slowdown? So, in order to implement and make that significant of a change within the system, it takes time, um, and that's that is part of what what was what was done was given direction to our operations team to begin implementing that particular change. So you did the work first before telling the people about it rather than maybe announcing, hey, we're going to do this work? To be clear, the information that, that I was presented with yesterday, we have to make a decisions in that moment that are put the safety of our customers and our employees first. The direction was given to our team and our operations team to begin implementing those changes. So yes, we have committed to be transparent. We've committed to tell our customers what is happening going on, but there are times where we have to make decisions internally to ensure their safety first and then begin messaging beyond that. Again, right now, yesterday, I can certainly say my focus was with the teams within our, our operations division and our safety department to begin implementing this, this, uh, this slowdown order system wide. So So essentially, from the review that our team did in our engineering and maintenance division, at this point in time, we did not have confidence in either the documentation was one there or that that, uh, that was the documentation that was available supported that these, these changes, these defects had been, been mitigated. So you're going back to, to make sure. That's what you're going back to. That is correct, yes. So again, right now we have these speed restrictions that are in place. If we do determine that, that the, the, uh, the, the condition of the track at this moment requires that speed restriction to be in place, then it will remain in place. What's the risk? What were the risks you're talking about? Are we talking about the rest? So uh, the, 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 the track is obviously a critical part of our infrastructure that we operate on. And uh, again, it is our, res our, our obligation to ensure that the system remains safe at all times. What do you mean by risk? What risk of what? Dan, can we have someone else there? Yeah, what, kind of, what kind of documentation are you talking about? Is this like... Again, the, 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 so this is... These are all parts of the, the investigation that we're really going to have to walk through to get to, get to a full understanding of, of what happened, where it happened, and where the process breakdown happened. What is the normal speed for this train? Going on for you to identify some issues? You say this is, how, how long do you feel like those have been gone? 
all under the investigation. Right now, our first priority was becoming aware of this, the, aware of the issue, and then taking the necessary steps to to uh, follow up and to ensure the safety of our customers. Can you reiterate the service that's been, that's been brought back for the green Mattapan and what? So green and Mattapan, we still have at this moment, right now, we still have the global speed restriction in place. So 25 miles an hour max speed, 10 miles an hour through curves and and uh, other other special track infrastructure. On, on the other lines, red, orange, and blue lines, we have lifted, lifted those speed restrictions, and now we have just localized speed restrictions in, in the areas. We are in an organization right now that is at a generational moment, and I feel very strongly about that. We are an organization right now that has to continue to focus on our infrastructure and updating our infrastructure. We are in an organization right now that has to focus on hiring and making sure we have the right staff in the fields, the, 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 the right number of people uh, in our system. And we are an organization right now that also has to pivot within its culture. Uh, this, this, is, this, this issue that we're talking through today is something that we are obviously taking extremely seriously. We took the necessary corrective actions at that moment to ensure the safety of our system and the safety of our customers. And that is something that I can easily say that, that uh, this administration remains fully committed to making the necessary tough decisions at times in order to ensure the safety of our, our customers and the safety of our employees. I can't answer that question. Can I come back to the first question? What the, so, go ahead. I'm sorry. Is there a timeline for how long these will be in place? So, right now, we are working through and we're conducting the inspections. The inspections we're, we're expecting could take a number of couple of days. As it relates to predicting of how, how long those uh, speed restrictions or those follow-up speed restrictions are going to be in place, I wouldn't want to project that right now. It depends on what is found through these, these investigations and if there are repairs, what level of repairs those are going to require. So So again, the track is a necessary part of our infrastructure. So if, if, if obviously, the, 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 the risk that we would run is that there could potentially be, you know, some, some form of, a, of an incident with, with our trains. I'm sorry, that's the best I can answer that question. I'm sorry. From your perspective, what is a normal speed for the train? Yeah, we'll go. Oh, I cannot, I cannot answer that question. All right. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody.